Hello there. So it's, today is the last day that I'll be able to record the bald eagles in the nest here at the towpath trail at Bordentown, New Jersey. Check this out. Now it's not an eagle t-shirt, it's actually a red-tailed hawk t-shirt. But it is a raptor um, nonetheless, just like a bald eagle. So why don't I go ahead and show you the bald eagles for the last time. Okay. And they're right over... Um, He's calling, actually. So he's right... Oh, am I looking at the right spot here? Or am I being blocked by other trees? Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. He's actually right here. So this is live and unedited. Well, not live, but... Recorded... Right here, for your enjoyment. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit so I can adjust this uh, tripod here. Sorry about that. So yeah, so the bald eagle is calling the eaglet, should I say. And I'm just going to try to zoom it in here. So I don't really have much time. I'm, I'm crunched for time only because I have to help my my mom and my grandma move everything out of the house. So you can't really see his head because he's always standing in that same spot with the tree branch blocking him, but that's okay. We won't let nature's obstacles avoid us from filming this bald eaglet right here. Um, unfortunately, neither of the parents are on the bare branch, so I don't know where they are today. But I assume they're probably somewhere across the lake. Train coming. Yes, yeah, so we'll cord this bold eaglet for maybe not even 15 minutes because I need to be home no later than 7 p.m. And what time is it now? It is already. It is already. Oh man. Let's see, what time is it here? 6.29. It actually takes me roughly a half an hour to walk here, plus another five minutes to drive back home. So I need to get this done quick. I'll record for another 12 minutes and 25 seconds. So I think that's the bald eaglet calling. I believe it is. So he's still not quite dependent for food quite on his own yet. But that's okay because he'll learn. You know, just like all other raptors do, they, they all learn to take care of themselves at some point. This bald eaglet isn't a child anymore. He's a fledgling. And I should say, instead of calling him an eaglet, I should call him a fledgling. Bald eagle fledgling. That's the proper terminology. Yeah, he's not really doing anything. I mean, not it's this isn't really a great last video, but it'll have to do. I mean, certainly yesterday's video was a lot better because I actually saw the mother preening, which is just a way that the eagles clean themselves. But for those of you that don't know what that means. So basically, that just means that they use their beak to get oil on their feathers. Basically, the oil cleans the feathers. Well, I mean, not only does it clean it, it also makes it more um, sleek so that they can uh, hunt for things easier. So as you can tell, this is the 
fledgling that's actually making these calls. I know because it's a high pitched call and juveniles make higher pitches when they're younger. I mean he just started making these calls like as soon as I got here. So surely that must mean that it's dinner time for this this eagle right here. So let's see if we get a, some more calls out of this eagle. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah, you can see the top of his head here. Let me zoom it out just a smidge here. There we go. So I think that's good. So we'll record this this fledgling for eight minutes and forty seconds. Oh, there we go. There's some action right there. Yeah. He's printing up a little bit. You know, as, as the eagle gets older, he'll understand why it's important to preen. And like I said, it, it puts oil on the feathers so it makes them sharp. I don't know like how to explain it exactly, but it makes it so that, you know, just like when you put oil in your car or you, you know, um, you put oil on your bicycle, you know, makes things run more smoothly, makes the gears run more smoothly. Yes, the oil on the bird's wings make them easier and they don't stick together because that can be a problem. If, if they get stuck together, then they could fall you know, while in the air. And if they can't flap their wings, then they'll accelerate to what they call the terminal velocity, which you don't want to happen. So yeah, yeah, that would be a very bad thing. Um, so yeah, not really much going on with this eagle today, which is unfortunate. But enjoy the last video because the next video that I'll make will be in Georgia. And believe me, there will be plenty of raptors to see in Georgia. I'll be... Oh, there we go. There's the eagle calling again. So I'll be living in a place where there's lots of lakes, rivers, creeks. I'm sure I'll probably see more bald eagles. Possibly red-tailed hawks maybe even red-shouldered hawks. Here comes train. Yeah, the time is just rolling by. Only six minutes and nine seconds left. And then we'll call it a day and this will be the conclusion of the towpath trail bald eagle's nest. Yeah, very soon this bald eagle will be migrating. Give it another couple months. Sometimes they do migrate as early as September. And we're like almost in August, so yeah, very, very soon this eagle really will be on his own. He won't be dependent on his parents anymore. So I'm not really too concerned about these eagles. I'm, I'm really going to miss them. I really had some fun times filming them and 
just watching Eagles be Eagles and not even caring that I'm there watching them. They, they really tolerated my presence just like they tolerate everyone else here at this park. So yeah. I'm sorry if this seems boring to you, but I always like to try to get as much footage as I can because you just never know, I might not get footage of eagles in quite a long time. And this is the only place nearby that I can see bald eagles on a regular basis. Strangely enough, I haven't even seen bald eagles at Mercer County Park, and that is a popular nest watching site, and they actually have signs all over the park um, for nest watching. Over here, there's nothing. Most people don't even know that this nest is even here, which is very surprising. So, we'll... Uh, Continue to watch this eagle for another three minutes and five seconds here. See if we can get some more calls out of this bald eagle before I leave. Come on, make some sounds for me. Make some goodbye chirps. Come on. Or peeps. Chirps, peeps. Typical eagle peeps. <laughs> This eagle will always be my peep. That's right. Come on, come on, make sounds, make sounds. Alright, so we are down to the one minute mark now, so I'm going to start wrapping it up here. Yeah, so that's the last that you're going to see of this bald eagle, or any bald eagle by that matter, here in New Jersey. And here I am, and yes, it's been great seeing these bald eagles. And I'm really hoping that I get to see more when I move to Georgia, especially this raptor right here, which is my favorite one of them all. Yes, the red-tailed hawk. And I know you can't see it very well because I'm holding the camera very close to me, but this red-tailed hawk is actually cleaning up after eating something. And cleaning up, I mean like cleaning up after eating a meal. Just like I'm cleaning up moving to Georgia. That's right. So I will see you all in Georgia. 
Have a great day, everybody.